All right, I'm on hole number 11 of the Holiday Hills Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. All right, hole number 11 is hole number five of Nordic Fjords. Nordic Fjords. And I'm hitting out into this area right here with my QB. Why am I using a QB? Because it's 100% accurate. Can you get it done with an extra mile? Sure. You have a better shot of getting it done every time with a QB? Yes. I'm bring a tight. Actually, I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. I'm trying to cut the wind down. I'm going to bring my Kingmaker lookalikes. i got a bunch of these Kingmaker lookalikes in here, and I'm trying to get rid of all of them before I buy any Kingmakers. Now let's make sure I got a sniper as my secondary club. I do. What's the best club to bring? Number one, if you don't bring a three power ball, then you're probably going to have to bring a bigger club. You're probably going to have to bring a big dog. But this is why we save our three power balls for tournaments. So then when we come to a hole like this, we can bring out a three power ball and we can bring out a club that's got better ball guide. If you've got lower developed stuff, your Viper is going to be your club that has better ball guide. And what you're going to need to do in order to engage your Viper is bring a bigger ball. All right. They hit that grate to the left. They could be in a spot of bother. Hit it perfect. I started the week off, I was putting about one top spin on, on this QB shot, but for whatever reason, as the week's going on, I'm getting a little deeper and deeper into the hole. So I'm going to put on just about a half a bar of top spin. About three rings off. Maximum side spin. And about a half a bar of top spin. Three, two. Put a little bit of curl just to bring it back to the center of the fairway. It's deeper in the center. Get one ring great to the left. See where I'm at right there? At the beginning of the week, I was in that same exact spot. 313, 314, 312 with one bar of top spin. And now I'm putting on a half a bar and I'm ending up in the same spot. So... I'm not sure if some dynamic has changed out on the course. They uh, brought their big dog. I have no idea where it's going to go because they have no ball guide. You got lower developed stuff. These types of shots right here. Upper developed, you got serious chance on those of getting them in. But when you've got lower developed clubs, that kind of shot can be a little more difficult. And we've got the wind behind us, so don't want to get all the way up to the hole. Because we are getting a little bit more of a run. Three miles per hour. Maybe three rings. I've been doing a 1-1 one, one here. And I'm going to do, and I've been ending up a little to the left. And I hit it great to the left. Pin high. We got a good shot at Albie on this hole. There is an Albie to be got here. I've been playing and I it's my typical MO is during the qualifying round, practice round on Monday, qualify on Tuesday, opening round on Wednesday. I play my practice accounts on, on the other days. And the whole deal is, is that at the beginning of the week, I'm still practicing all the way till the weekend round. I'm still, you know, there's shots that I'm practicing, trying to get them dialed in. So that on the weekend round, I can really like try and tighten it up and go for it. A potential spam call. Like about 17 other phone calls I get a day.
Good game. All right, that was hole number 11 of the Holiday Hills Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.